One was so fast, she won all the races at field day. Another was learning how to play football. Tonight we're learning more about the lives of the 19 fourth, fourth graders and their teachers killed yesterday at the Uvalde, Texas Elementary School. Their families described them as sweet children who loved to sing and dance and were eagerly looking forward to a summer of swimming with their friends. Teachers Eva Morales and Irma Garcia are remembered as loving mothers. In Texas and around the country tonight, the grieving continues for those lives lost. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. The tragedy has also continued the debate over gun control, including in Rhode Island. Leaders are renewing calls for the General Assembly to pass gun safety legislation that was introduced this year. Five bills have been introduced in both the House and Senate, but have yet to make it to the governor's desk. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts is live in Providence. And Amanda, one of these bills is focused on high capacity magazines, which we know were found at the scene of this latest mass shooting. Well, Mike Shannon, that's right. Gun safety advocates say it's that one bill that would limit high capacity magazines here in Rhode Island that's most crucial and crucial now more than ever following yesterday's tragedy in Texas, where authorities say seven 30 round magazines were found at the scene of that shooting. Time for action. As more innocent lives are taken too soon, Governor Dan McKee calling on the Rhode Island General Assembly to pass gun safety legislation currently halted at the State House. You know, the, the bills that uh, are in front of us, including the, uh, including the assault weapons, let's, get, let's make sure we level the playing field between us and Connecticut and Massachusetts right now. At Wednesday's marijuana bill signing, the issue was top of mind. Enough. The moment in time for these gun safety bills is now. Just uh, we'll send the gun bills over and we'll, okay. I'll come back with another pen for okay. you. The Rhode Island Coalition Against Gun Violence has been working tirelessly to pass the five bills that range from strengthening safe storage laws to prohibiting open carrying in public. The bill limiting high capacity magazines is their highest priority. Anytime high capacity magazines are involved, there's more carnage, there's more um, deeper wounds, more deaths associated. But those on the other side of the issue are still against the bills. It, it doesn't make a difference. Banning a certain category of them doesn't eliminate a problem. Leaders of the General Assembly say the legislation is under active consideration, but gun safety advocates hope there's movement soon. They're all being held for further study, and we are hoping that that changes any day now. The reality is we've had hearings on all the bills in both um, chambers, and we're ready for action. Now, the coalition says this coming Tuesday, they will show up at the state house decked out in orange, the color that signifies gun safety, to call on those legislators to vote that legislation out of committee. Live in Providence tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.